Berlin's Kudam, one of the city's most important shopping streets. Jeans in every colour, size and cut. I'm spoiled for choice. But no matter where I shop, I don't just care about the price. I want to know who made the jeans and were they paid a fair wage. There's hardly any information on the labels, often not even the country where they were sewn. Yet lots of companies claim to be sustainable. Why is it so hard to find out where a pair of jeans came from? And after all the textile industry scandals, what are working conditions like in Asia right now? At one company in Pakistan, wages are fair, shift times regular, workers are even supplied with housing. Though textile industry news is usually about exploitation, starvation wages and dangerous working conditions. And deadly factory disasters like this one in Bangladesh a few years ago, which left hundreds dead and injured. Researching the topic was difficult, hardly anyone wanted to let us film. Apart from Crescent Bahuman, one of Asia's biggest textile producers and a model company. Crescent Bahuman built its workers their own campus. More than half of its 7,000 workers live with their families on 500 hectares. Sabir Nassim has been sewing jeans for three years. She and her children live right next to the factory where she works. There is a lot of safety on campus. No one can come into the campus without permission. Even our friends and relatives need permission. The residence is very good as compared to living outside the campus. The environment is especially safe for females. The working environment here is very different and considerably better than on the outside. The company was founded more than 20 years ago by Pakistani families in a very impoverished region. According to management, the founders wanted to improve the lives of the people. The factory turns out a million pairs of jeans each month. Its most important markets are the US and Europe. Company directors say maternity leave, regular shift times and a minimum wage are standard here. For employee satisfaction, we developed our in-house employee engagement index through which we can identify the attitude and motivation levels of our staff. They can also say how happy they are with the leadership and management, the facilities and the working environment. All this is measured through this index we introduced for them last year. And we're pleased to tell you the feedback received from our employees is used for improvement. This is completely new for Pakistan. The NGO Clean Clothes campaign monitors the textile industry worldwide. Experts say that despite all the catastrophes, hardly anything has changed in the last 10 years. There are very few trade unions uh, in the garment and textile sector in Pakistan. And the employers here do not allow workers to organize freely, and the government is not actually able to implement its own labor laws regarding the freedom of association. Secondly, I think the issue of wages. Workers have to do more than eight hours of work uh, to earn enough uh, to be able to uh, serve some basic needs of the family. The coronavirus pandemic has worsened the situation. Orders have dropped off and some firms have simply laid off their workers. But Crescent Bahuman in Pakistan has tried to keep them all, like Sobia Nassim. They planned in such a way that they didn't let the workers go anywhere else during the pandemic. 
In some cases, where people were sent home when the factory was closed, they were called back within two or three months, as soon as the situation got better. The company wants to improve its image. They want customers to know that its workers are treated better than elsewhere. Besides corporate responsibility, it also leads to higher revenue as more and more consumers pay attention to sustainability. Zaki Salimi says he wants to make the entire supply chain transparent with blockchains, making it clear where clothes come from. But the sector is still a long way away from this. The benefit of blockchain for European consumers is that they can scan their purchase, be they a pair of jeans or a t-shirt, and check where the cotton came from, which factory made the garment, how much energy was consumed on it, what its carbon and cotton footprints are. A lot of information will be available to help the consumer choose their current and future purchases. However, the technology doesn't exist in this form yet. I still can't figure out whether clothes were produced in a fair way when I buy them. But here in Berlin, I look for some jeans and finally find them, online for about 40 euros. And only thanks to the label that producer Crescent Bohuman told me about. It's not yet official. I think the consumers need to talk to the governments in Europe as well. So the political pressure is put on Pakistani government to better implement labor laws. I mean, there should be more openness, more transparency, and the consumers can demand for more transparency about the working conditions uh, uh, from the brands. At least there's one company in Pakistan trying to produce clothes in a fair and sustainable way. But that's not yet reality for many of the country's other textile factories.